Welcome to Toronto, home of the pen god. Home of the pen gods, boys. Home of the pen goddess. Home of some of the biggest you YouTubers in the just... world. Insane. Home of Trip Fitness. Home of Game Nation. Home of Yu-Gi-Oh. Home of Pendulum. Home. Welcome to Toronto Yu-Gi-Oh. Episode 1. Building Budget Pendulum at Local. Let's go. Good morning. Hope everyone has a great day. Budget pendulums in real life at locals. Let's go! So if you guys are ready for the vlog style 30 minute episode of real life pendulums destroying the meta, destroying chairs and tables and everything alike, then smash the subscribe button. Let's get the 50,000 subscribers for real. Only 50% of you guys subscribe. So if you guys like this style of video, let me know in the comments. I promise you guys that if you love pendulums, you have to stay tuned for this entire video beginning to end. It's gonna blow your mind because this combo is just fucking insane. Uh, 30 minute episodes every fucking week, baby. So with that being said, let's get started on greatness. Let's fucking go. You the sick music, baby. It's fucking invisible. Let's go. <laughs> Yo guys, listen, listen. I just saw Steven in the other room brew up some crazy craziness. <laughs> this pendulum deck is actually just insane! <laughs> Tell him, bro. It's beautiful, man. Ah, it's let's, beautiful. Let's, let's, let's go! Let's, let's go! <laughs> Here's a little table of contents for this video, as you guys are aware. As Sam said, this deck is insane. Budget pendulums under $100, and we're gonna destroy people and all meta decks with it. So in this video, we are going to build this deck live on Dueling Book first, then we're gonna test it on stream against multiple people, and then after we clap everyone on stream, then we're going to go to locals and build this deck in real life. Then I'm gonna call my boy over, and we're gonna duel Battle of the Yu-Gi-Oh decks, meta versus pendulums. We're gonna be playing budget pendulums, against your doll invoked dogmatica so let's see if a hundred dollar deck could beat a thousand dollar deck and then you're gonna see a little life of the pen god and his boys as we go travel down 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 toronto and see what toronto has to offer for the pen god and his boys so if you guys are ready for this video it's starting right now let's go oh and one more thing for all the trip fitness lovers trip fitness is making a return in this video let's go I'm sorry, Trip Gaming isn't real. Like, I'm convinced he's like an NPC, like, programmed by Konami to, like, keep people invested in Yu-Gi-Oh. Time to build Zephra, Budget, Pendulum, Magician, Perform Pal, and Demian! In real life, baby. So this is the deck. I will be building it live, as you guys see me. The process of the Pen God, baby. And the idea behind it is that you don't need a thousand dollar deck to put up ten negates. You don't need Magician Souls. You don't need Access Code Talker. You just need one of these. A nice haircut, but also a brain. So, clearly, if you guys want to look at this deck right now, every card in this deck is a starter. If you open Servant, Abductor, look at it. If you open any of the first 15 cards, you're plusing. If you open any of the 15 spells, you're plusing. 20 spells. You're playing 20 spells. 21 spells, because Blue Boy counts. And any of the 15, you have 36 starters in this deck, and not one card in the main deck is worth more than 3 cents. So, when you take these 36 card starters... Do the math, baby. 36 cards in a 43-card deck. You're going to drop four starters every fucking turn. Triff math. Anyways, no more yelling. Let's get to clapping. So this is the deck we're going to be using. We're going to finish up the side deck. And then we're going to take this deck in a little test round on Dueling Book before we build it in real life and before we duel my friend who's going to be playing a $1,000 deck versus our $100 deck. And in fact, our main deck is not $100. It's 100 cents. Our extra deck, though, a little bit more expensive. We need a masquerade in there, which is like 20 bucks. But you know what? The goal is to keep the whole deck main side and extra under 99 bucks. And we're doing just that. Seer mode and dark world are each a few bucks, but you know what? We do need it. And if you're if the person you're buying it from doesn't want to sell it to you for a few bucks, tell them that the pen god fucking told you to sell it for a few bucks, or else I'll slap them. Anyways, let's get into a test duel. So here we're gonna have uh, we're gonna be playing in a pendulum mirror, best deck versus best deck. Except our deck is, like I said, two bucks. So 
Here we do a cool play where we master, pop the servant to put in the scale, to end up with a few negates. And look at this, look at this. We're playing a $2 deck, we have five negates, baby. You don't, it's all good. You don't, you just need a budget deck. I'm telling you, this little warm up duel here is going to showcase that you don't need too many expensive cards. And if you're playing Dragon Link, fucking throw that trash deck where it belongs in the trash and play this deck because it's not just better, but it's cheaper and it's better, which is the most, and it's pendulum. And you could sl slap chairs too. So, anyways, we win there in game one. Game two, he's actually gonna do a me big misplay here. And I want you guys to see this play. He goes straight for mastery. That was a mistake to go into servant. He should have got three counters on the abductor and then get the servant and then mastery the servant. And he just doesn't have enough spell counters to resolve them. So it's a big mistake. Don't clog your skills of abductor and servant, guys. Moving forward, that's a little lesson there for you guys. But clearly, even if you had the full 10 to gate pendulum, but we had super poly. And that's the beauty of this deck. With the Dark Ruler, oh, I took out Poly later for Stream Mode, Lava Golem, but you have so many cards that one card kill boards. And then because you have to play 36 starters, if you draw two board killers and four start, one card, star, three one card starters, you kill them. With the Pen Call and a Zephyroth, you kill them. Any, uh, anyways, that's a deck. Clearly, it's fucking amazing. This deck is built for Lions. Like behind me, this is the updated deck. We didn't make much changes, but we did play Super Poly and an Abomination. I don't, I, I decided to take up too much space. We're just gonna play these, anyways. We're gonna go to the. We're gonna go work out a bit quickly, and then I'm gonna call my friend over. We're gonna duel. We're gonna have to stop for a quick word from our sponsor. Your fucking six pack. That's the sponsor, baby. Welcome back to Turf Fitness. Let's fucking go. So I thought, why not incorporate lifting in every single Yu-Gi-Oh video, baby? You guys smell that beautiful smell? That beautiful smell of dog shit and swamp water. Your local ravine. I don't care if you don't have a gym. I don't care if you can't afford a $10 dumbbell. I don't give a fuck. All I do know is that you live beside a park. I know that you live beside some monkey bars. And that's all you need. So in every video from now on, you guys will see this. And I want you guys to participate. I will post the workout regimen down below for anyone who's interested. Every day, I want to see a five kilometer run. And let's fucking get jacked, boys. Let's fucking go. Fuck, man. I'm like one kilometer in, I'm already fucking done. I gotta keep going, boys. Let's go. Five kilometers, let's fucking go. Job well done. Let's go play some Yu-Gi-Oh. Clearly, the deck's insane. We just clapped a bunch of randoms online. And now it's time for some real life testing. So I invited my best friend over, Sean, who you guys are gonna love. Literally just another version of me. So you guys are gonna see two trips in today's video, baby. Let's go. So everyone, let's go meet him. He's at the door. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's go, yo. Yo, say something to YouTube, bro. What's up, bro? What's let's up, go. YouTube? We're friends for like day one. Since day one, bro, it's like my best friend just walked in the dollies and just like, See the corner playing, and then I flipped at him. And he, just, he just gave him the head nod. Bro, like everyone's just a bunch of nerds. nerds. We just look at each other. We're just like, yeah, we're the only normal people here. <laughs> Let's hard. go. Oh, you That's party? Hard. Oh, I party. Oh, you like sports? I like sports. Let's go. We're fucking. <laughs> Did we just become best friends? Did we just become best friends? Yep. Just anytime you go out, we're chilling, we're partying, we're doing our thing, and bro. 10 years of the best, best times of our lives. Like the trio of the Toronto Shore, we got <laughs> our boy. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you just don't play Yu-Gi-Oh because they're clap people, right? Oh man, I know, right? Like I'm like the fucking Yoda and you guys are like the- <laughs> 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 Kylo Ren, Steven's Kylo Ren actually. I make sure guys to go subscribe to my boy's channel down below six ygo it's like a fucking it's like another steven bro like legit except steven. if you guys think of this sean is a steven of pendulums but but That's of right. making money That's facts. so if That's you guys right. want to make money in this game go check out my boy's channel down below That's it'll right. be in the description That's right. with that being said bro should we, we should give the people what they came here for sure. the most insane duels ever oh my god you guys are in for a surprise bro so let's go it. boys let's, let's fucking get it all right let's go after that incredible workout, my boys here, both my boys are here, let's duel. I'm gonna build this deck in real life. Like I said earlier, I have most of the budget cards that we need. You guys saw the cards that we needed. We have most of them, bro, we have most of them. I'm gonna build it with what I have. I w I'm gonna play a semi-budget version for this duel. I'm gonna be playing with one Magician Souls. You don't need the Magician Souls at all. I just wanna showcase the different options for the people that do have one Souls. Of course, we're gonna be including the best XYZ in Yu-Gi-Oh! Cowboy. And we're gonna OTK with this card because it's broken. 
it could get to 2,500 attack. 3,000 attack, baby. Let's go. So we're almost done here. I would love to play with that Electrum, but clearly not. And uh, let's get started, boys. So as you guys see here, this deck's insane. I open. We're going to play five duels with my friend. We're going to be playing five duels, five matches. But only one of the matches will be on the video. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys at the end what the score was. But I just want to showcase you guys now just how good this is. So we go Servant, we go Zephrath. And this deck's insane, bro. Like, like I said, it has 36 starters. It has 36 starters. I do a cool play here to play around Nibiru. I don't. I have an extra card in my hand that I don't summon because I needed to make sure the Zephyr Providence I searched for Zephyr, uh, Zephyr Nui is going to put counters on the Jackal. That way he can't Nibiru me. So I just want to make sure I have enough. In this video, I play Tiger Mortar as well as a second Chakanine. In doing so, you get a free card here. If you're playing Magician Souls, I highly advise you do that because it'll give you the cool play there where you get a free Dryden and a free material for Selene. I go into Appaloosa and I have two traps set that are both real counter traps. I have Divine Strike as well as other Zephyr Trap. So I have two Divine Strikes. So in this version, I didn't have access to Yang Zing Trap. So I'm playing two counter traps here and it's just not enough. He has two sets left and it's just not enough. Uh, to deal with what I have, he goes called by, and there, just, I have too much, I pen summon, and this is gonna be game there, I had six negates, with a, with a hundred dollar deck, I had six negates, so, that's that, I uh, do sorry, I'm sorry you guys can't see the hands, in the next video, vlog we do, this will be a better setup that you guys could see, sorry you guys can't see uh, his hand here, uh, next time I'll do a little better, the setup isn't the best here, I could do way better, so sorry about that, but nonetheless, uh, it is what it is, bro, pen fucking best deck, so he's gonna go first here, he goes Makaba, and he's playing the Invoke Dogmatica Shadal deck, where he goes Winda, Makaba, and as good as that deck is, we have an incredible matchup against it. Because the best way to clear Winda is to pen summon. He goes Dogmatica Maximus here, uh, to, so he plays that, which is going to allow him to extend his plays there. He searches Fortalies, so I'm going to have a big, big ask here to deal with. I have Makaba, I have Winda. I have Florida Lease, and I'm gonna clear on honestly I'm gonna clear all of it here. I'm gonna do my best at least. I have a lot of spell counters here. I'm trying to waste his negates here. I want him to preemptively use the window. I'm just waiting for him to waste the window. That's all I'm doing here. I'm trying to waste that window. I want the window out of my life, bro. I don't want to deal with that card. So next I search for what I need. Uh I search a jackal here, knowing damn well that if I summon it, I can clear the window. Here he goes into Shizum to get rid of my Jackal. So it's a good job that he waited for my Pen Summon to get rid of the Jackal. Uh, I use my my monster to pop. He protects it with Florida Lees. He Shizum to get rid of that. Now look at this. I'm pretty fucked here. But I do a massive big brain play here against Winda. If you Pen Summon, uh, he waits for the Shizum first to obviously get rid of the Jackal. Otherwise, he can just enter Battle Phase and attack. But what I'm going to do here is a very massive big brain play. I can only summon one more time. So I want you guys to take note of this. And I was so close to clear everything. I really was. I was so damn close. But I'm going to actually Nightmare Unicorn here. And I wish it was 100 attack more. I, I have to. I only have one card left in my hand and it's the Counter Trap. But I'm actually going to go to Unicorn here to get rid of the Winda. He wasted all of his interruptions. He has nothing left. No other interruptions left in his hand. And all the cards are wasted. Macabre is used. I Unicorn that away and go straight into Artemis. That's a Trick Clown that's set. So I'm playing a Trick Clown as well. Uh, I couldn't have enough cards to play. Then I go into a free link just to have as many pots as possible with Axis Code Talker. Axis Code Talker, I'm going to pop as much as I can. And I'm going to enter battle and attack the other. So I'm going to clear most of his field here. I did the best that I could. That was the best board that Invoke the Meta can do. He had everything. Macabre, Ash, Shizzle, Florida Lee's Window. Five interruptions, six interruptions. I clear almost everything, but he had the extra Alistair that he drew, and then, uh, or I think he kept it, and then it, just, it was just too much. I couldn't clear the rest of it. Uh, if he doesn't play Ogadiz, I won, but of course he plays Ogadiz. It's probably the be better than Makaba, and he clears it, but I did my best. We were so close to clear it, but it just wasn't enough. So now we're going to go to game three here, and this game three is going to be a dandy. I'm going to do some very big brand plays that you guys can see, and this budget pendulum deck is insane. At the end of this video, I'm going to showcase a deck profile that's in-depth, as well as a combo tutorial. This is a 30 minute video, so there's gonna be a bunch of combo tutorials and deck profiles that you guys are gonna need to know for this deck. Here, we're gonna go into Pen Call, and this is what I mean in the beginning of the video. That's Trick Clown, by the way. That is Trick Clown, the card that is backwards. And Trick Clown is very cool because if you go Time Star and Dryden, you go Dryden to pop your scale, you protect it with Time Star, and then you send Trick Clown to Special Trick Clown, and then you go into Chaka Nine to Special Dryden, Tiger, and then just like that, you get a free two free materials for Celine. You get the Trick Clown and you get the Tiger Mortar for free. So it's a very cool play that I don't utilize right now, but it's an extremely cool play that you could use. 
So here, I'm just thinking of the best form. Like I said, I'm playing one Magician Souls to either search with a Doctor or to search with Time Star, and it does come up very handy. Here, I'm gonna go and I play one Janky in this version as well, which is which is a good card. Summon out Harmonizing when you need to. I'm gonna go into Selene Master, and now my Selene will be able to bring out a Janky if I need to to stop his Dogmatica cards. Janky Magician is a very good card. The, a big issue with it though is that uh, not every deck is light. He goes Super Poly here, so we'll see how I can deal with the Super Poly. So. He goes Super Poly for Starving Venom, and things aren't looking good here. Uh, he, he can't get he, he got rid of my Masquerina and my Jackal, but I still have a, so a three four negates left. That's how good this is, bro. So he attacks one because it gains the attack. I didn't want to destroy it because it'll destroy my monsters. So he goes into Meltdown here, and I'm just forced to negate it because I don't want uh, the, the Invocation or any Shadal Fusion or Shadal Shism to not be able to be negated. I still have a Counter Trap, so I'm still very in a very good position here. Uh, he doesn't have many cards left, so I'm going to do my best. So I negate that. Now he has three cards left, and I have Janky and a Counter Trap. He normal summons Window to go into Verde and Aconda. At this point, I'm like, I think I should let that resolve. Maximus is the last card in his hand, so I just Janky negate the Maximus when, uh, when he uses it. And then I have a Counter Trap for the Verde. So that's his last six cards. He has no other cards left. So that's game for me. There's nothing else he can do. I negate the Verde Anaconda. He goes Maximus and I go Janky. And that's game. That was an incredible duel there. We ended up playing five matches in total. We played four matches in total. Out of the four matches, we won three times. He beat me once. Closer than that. But that's my boy Sean right there. My best friend. So we're going to do more duels with me and my boys. If you guys want to go check out his channel, it's down in the description below. Now we're about to go downtown, get some fresh cuts. And uh, tomorrow, because right now it's 9 o'clock for us. So in the morning when we wake up, I will be going to Game Nation Locals to fixing the rest of my deck, giving you guys a deck profile, and giving you guys an in-depth combo tutorial. And I'll see you guys later. Time to go get some fades, baby. Let's go. Listen, you can't put up six negates unless every day you work out, you look fresh, and you get a cut from the best bar from the GTA, baby. That sucks. You guys want to get a fresh cut? Links in the description. My boy Anko, check him out. He's the GTA. Sick as barber. Sick as fucking barber. I do every week, bro. Everyone out here is blessing the madam. Yesterday was an amazing day of Yu-Gi-Oh! And today we're gonna end off the day going to Game Nation and getting every card we're missing for our deck because as you guys saw yesterday, that deck was insane. Clearly we saw it work online and work in real life. So now it's time to get the cards in real life and play some remote pools with it because this deck is insane, budget or not budget. Just the fact that you could continue with plus every single turn. You guys saw one of the last games had like five cards in hand with a big board. Like this deck is insane. So anyways, it's time to go to Game Nation. Before we go to Game Nation, now I want to see what cards we have and how we want to build it. This is going to be a pseudo deck profile that's two minutes. The next deck profile will be the real one. I mean, look at that, bro. We have like 25 starters right there. We have a lot more draw cards and more starters that are coming, search cards. And then you're going to see the backward cards and the cards we're missing. So the backwards cards are going to go pick up from my locals right now. We're going to get this deck on the road, boys. Let's go. I'm going to show you guys a few test times here. Just to give you guys a combo tutorial that you guys need to know. If you guys don't know these combos, I don't think you'll be able to play the deck. So this is very important that you guys are going to need to know. Because if you guys don't know the combo tutorials, this budget deck will mean nothing for you guys. So here, as you guys see, this deck, this hand's insane. This, uh, well, at the end of the day, every hand is insane. But there are a few important stuff you need to know. So here, we normal summon the abductor. If we had access to souls, souls would be amazing here, but we don't need it. I'm going to do a big brain play here. We're going to go Mighty Master to pop. Mighty Master is a level level 7. Zephyrath is a scale 7, so you can't pen summon the Mighty Master. So sometimes you have to summon out the Mighty Master like that. And this just ends up with like 5, 6, six negates very easily with an amazing follow-up. So 5 negates like nothing. I'm going to do another one, this time with a shit hand. I purposely give out the shit hand here with cards that are utility, that don't do much. And look at this. We pen summon only 2 cards. But what do we do? We make sure our follow-up's amazing. We play through Nibiru at all times because this is only 4 summons. And we still have 3 big negates. End phase, we search our follow-up with Celestial. So even if we have a shit hand like that, we still end up with an amazing negate. We have four cards in hand. So even with such a garbage hand like that, we end up with four cards in hand and three negates. And the three negates are real negates. It's like Dweller and two counter traps. The deck works out amazing. Anyways, it's now fucking time, boys, to finally go to Game Nation and build this deck 
in real life with the five, six, seven cards we're missing. And then after we build that, I'll give you guys a real deck profile to end off the video. Let's go. Yo, bro. Yeah. Yo, what's the best deck, baby? Thank you, baby. Let's, let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Just got all the cards we're missing for the deck. Now we're gonna go live stream with the wifey and we're gonna duel everyone. I'm gonna show you guys right now. This budget deck, it's insane. How many duels have we had so far? Like 10 duels? I'm telling you guys, this deck's insane. You could build budget pendulums for under 100 bucks and destroy all your opponents. Let's go. So guys, after three days of building the most insane budget pendulum deck, we finally come to a completion. This deck's insane. So if you guys got this part, you can smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. And also, if you want to support the channel and the 30 minute vlogs, check out tripgaming.com, the mats that we have out there. And also check out the Patreon membership we have going on. We're gonna have massive, massive stuff going there. So check that out. And shout out to my girlfriend for recording this. She doesn't, hey, one day we're gonna turn her into the, the Pengoddess, baby. One day. You already got Yeah. Okay, let's, so let's get started on this video. Okay, so obviously, as I mentioned before, the deck is complete, but you need to focus on these four. These four are huge, along with Spell Power and Mastery. You know, I'm going to go on the monsters, obviously, but these seven and then these ten, these are the ten best cards in the deck. And the reason why they're so powerful is that you can search uh, Survey uh, easily and map with Mastery. And these are searchable with ten cards, and this is searchable with nine cards because of Pen Call Blues Alliance, all the Zephyr spell cards. So you have the access to literally the most powerful spell card in, and pendulum cards in Yu Gi Oh! and the most powerful cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! and the deck's under 30 bucks. So it works out incredibly well because of the switchability. And the switchability is synergized with the Servant and Master and the Abductor. And you also have the Zephyr Nui as well to plus with that and the Celestials. So these cards and the Sorcerer, so these cards also plus a lot. And they're searchable via all these cards and Duelist Alliance still searches this. And you play double Celestial for hard mode and for a target for Sorcerer. So they're very good, and the other two targets you have are harmonizing and two purple poison. The only way this deck will lose is uh, if you don't if you run out of gas. But because you're playing multiple targets for harmonizing and for pen call and for alliance and zephyrs, it goes on forever. And there's also why you play one zephyr tubin. Uh, very good card, extremely good and necessary to chain block. And then one jackal, one master. That would play one souls in a non-budget version, a semi-budget, but we don't need it. Uh, one of each of these. One upstart, one into the void. Into the void was a late addition. You need more spell cards for spell counters for a servant abductor. Then we're playing the six pen calls or the four perform call pen sorcerer. And we're playing four oracle of Zephyr along with three Zephyr providence. You just need to open these. Going second, your opponent will negate them. Just activate another. Uh, and then mastery. So as you see, these are all cards. All these cards are fucking insane. Every card, they're all plus cards. So going first or second, doesn't matter if you're playing budget, it's still amazing. You want to eat trap card is very important follow-ups and they have different reasons for each of them uh, so that's the main deck now we'll go extra deck we have crowley mascarina as the link twos one unicorn and one Celine. i'll love to play more Celine, but we're playing budgets so we're going to play one mascarina is twenty dollars is the only card in this deck over five bucks or uh, and Celine. these are the only two cards over five bucks but they're required to play one and required to play one it's very important for the strategy uh one appalooza and this, I just put access code talker because I had it, but I want to stress this enough that this has to be access code or Boral Sword. So if you don't have access code, you need to get Boral Sword. You need to get one or the other. If you already have access to access code, play this because it's really good with Celine. But if not, you'll need Boral Sword. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I uh, also want Boral Load. This card is uh, a lot more underrated than it seems because you'll take your opponents in the gate and then destroy them with it. Uh, and, and so it's very powerful for that reason. Also, you could exchange this for Abomination. Uh, now the rank fours, which are required, you need these interruptions. One Time Star, and one Supreme King Dark Rebellion, one Trachonine, and one Dryden. This is because Trachonine and Dryden, this is a rank four. So you could take two level fours and go into a Trachonine with any two level fours that you have and then slap a Dryden on top. Unfortunately, we don't have enough extra deck space for this, but if you're playing Magician Souls, uh, I would play this if possible. But because because what we, the, a play with Magician Souls is if you go Time Star to search Souls, Souls will send Jackal, then you go Dryden, Trachonine Dryden, Dryden to pop a card, Time Star protect the card, Time Star will then send Trick Clown to the graveyard to special of 3 level 4, and then what you do after that is because 
Uh, you didn't summon, you summoned Trachonine properly, not by a Zodiac effect. You could summon a Trachonine on top of the Dryden again to special up the Dryden, and then you special the Tiger to special under the Dryden, and then you have a free Trick Clown because of the protection from Time Star. Then you have a free Tiger Mortar. So the Trick Clown and Tiger Mortar with Time Star gets you a free Selene, just like that for a one rank four. You still keep your Dryden, and you get the Selene to special the Jackal that the Souls brings out. So that's a very cool combo, but because we're playing a budget version, we're not playing the extra Trachonine and Tiger specifically for that reason. Over here also is my Zodiac Elish deck, which maybe I'll show one day, but Pembest deck, so fuck that deck. So cute. Babuska? <laughs> he's just a fat guy who, he's actually drinking a beer, I think. So cute. So cute? You like fat guys? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fat, unfortunately. But anyways, yeah. that's it for the rank fours there, and then the Ignister. And then as for the side deck, uh, budget as possible. Spear mode is the most expensive one, along with Dark Ruler, but these get the job done. A, the only way you lose is a heavy combo deck. These against Dragon Link are incredible. If you're facing some deck like Shadals that don't put up that many negates, you don't need this many cards. Just play Dark Ruler, you're fine. Don't overside. It's the biggest issue with this deck. Danko is also incredible against that deck. They just completely shuts them down. Uh, so Danko and Reboot are the best uh, cards in your trap decks. Feather Duster is like 20 bucks right now, so we can't play it in this budget deck. But if you get Feather Duster, I, uh, I would put a Feather Duster instead of the Eccentric. Eccentric is searchable by Abductor, and I'm all about searchability to pop back row. So the Abductor turns into an MST. Uh, also, the other uh, Zephyr card. So you want to play as much searchability as possible. So these two are searchable, pop poppable outs the back row. So I'll play these, and these four completely shut down trap decks. But if you have Feather Duster, I would substitute the Eccentric. Uh, for the feather duster and then keep but you must keep this because it's searchable by 10 cards anyways that's the deck guys i hope you enjoyed the deck profile i hope you enjoyed the video uh probably reaching around 30 minutes at this point in the video so you guys got this far uh like i said guys just smash the subscribe button it took a lot of effort to make this video and at the end of the day boys budget pendulum is the best deck i don't care if your budget is 100 bucks or a thousand bucks you could spend just 100 bucks and build just as powerful of a deck you don't need magician souls you don't need lightning storm you don't need all these hand traps and droplets you don't need those bullshit cards you could get away with just this deck anyways that's the deck profile and i'll see you guys in the outro you know boys clearly this deck is absolutely insane so if you guys like this video, make sure to smash the subscribe button. And we're going to do another one next week. Episode number two, Grill Master 3000 right here, baby. Time to make some steaks. If you can't cook, every man should at least be able to make a steak. I can't do neither, but I'm going to learn. Anyways, hope you're going to do this video. If you guys like it, smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. I'll see you guys in episode two. Peace!